Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasa. This is my new tutorial about Java programming for Android. This tutorial is mainly for those of you who are looking for the basics of Java programming and try to do some coding in Android. As you know that I have a lot of tutorial about Android, but mostly for advanced users and advanced developers. And I have a lot of requests from beginners who are looking for some of the basic of Java programming or Android programming for beginners. So this tutorial is for you. So let's learn to say hello in Android. Okay, some of you might be wondering why I make this kind of tutorial again because there are some tutorials uh, on YouTube already. But if you look at that, most of them are one year old already and some are four years old and uh, there are no update at all in Java programming. For that reason, I think that it's a good time to create a new series about Java programming for new beginners or maybe for some of you who are trying to refresh, try to get more knowledge about Java programming in order to develop an Android app better. Okay, let's get into it. So, as you know, you have to install Android Studio. So you go to Google and you can download it for free and click on the first link there you go you can see that this link if you're on Mac the link will be for Mac if you are on Windows the link will be for Windows and we need a emulator so we use Jenny Motion for that so you type Jenny Motion free then you will get this link and you go there and download it and you have to sign in to get an ID in order to download an emulator for um, you know, like a device. If you are new to this, Android is for a mobile uh, device, right? So Android is not for computer. And we try to run, uh, you know, like a device on your computer. How can you do that? So Jenny Motion is kind of a third party emulator that gives you the ability to connect from Android to this device and it will run quicker than the native one. Actually Android provides you a native emulator but it's very slow. So I use Jenny Motion for many years now and it's very good. So now you can see I have four uh, devices. Uh, before you can get this device you have to log in. There will be a log in or sign in button here. Okay, and then uh, in order to, to get the ID, you need uh, to sign in here and you will get uh, email and password and, and confirmation to your email. And then you just know, click it. It's similar to like a register or Facebook uh, ID. And then you click on that. And then you can find your device. Let's say you. Uh, want to try to test on Galaxy Samsung Galaxy like S7 but when you click next you will see this uh, device needs a memory of 4 gig so if you have only you know a small amount of RAM in your computer like only 8 gigs of RAM then you will have a problem when you try to run it for many times and will be like very slow and one more thing that I suggest you in order to run um, Android Studio smoothly and uh, Jenny Motion smoothly you have to have at least uh, 4 gigs of RAM and then the hard disk should be SSD okay the hard disk SSD this is the best one it, it doesn't matter if it is just only you know like 128 gigs it's okay but you need an SSD hard drive and then you can run Android very fast okay and if you buy a new machine usually you can run it but I'm talking about the old machine okay and for now this Mac uh, let, let me show you yeah yeah so i5 and 8 gigs of RAM and then the hard disk I believe is 500 gigs so it's good enough and it's SSD so it runs very smoothly 
Okay, so just download it and download this, install. Now, assume that you have installed it. So let's try to start your first application on Android. So click on start. And then you can give your, your, your app name, let's say app1. And the company name now, I don't have it. So just call Om Sagasol, my name. So the package will be omsagasol.app1. And the interface is a little bit different if you use a newer version or older version. Now the Android Studio that I use is 2.3. 2007 February the 24th okay so let's next and uh, this is the API for Android so let me talk a little bit about this so Android has many versions but now the latest version um, is uh, 7 7 1 1 yeah nougat and then the oldest one is 2.3 and a little bit of history about this 2.3 is for mobile phone only and 3 3.1 uh, 3.2 is for tablet and and 4 is a tablet and mobile phone okay so if you don't know this maybe you should look at uh, Google a little bit but now the best one is 4 because you have a lot of people using it you can see that 97.4% uh, okay if you try to use a very new one let's say 7 you will have a problem because most um, smartphone now uh, Android phone specifically still run on the older version so 7 is not good for you so you will have very few uh, customers I mean when you upload your app to your app uh, play store okay and if you try to develop an app for like a uh, watch where where is uh, for watch and you, you need to choose at least 4.4 but now the stable one is 5 lollipop and TV I think it's 5 yes 5 and this is for car auto Android auto so and also the glass still uh, preview version so I don't recommend you to use this yet and for this um, particular tutorial we stick with the uh, smartphone you know just 4.0 is good enough so just click next and here you have some template there so this is the new one um, if you use a little bit older um, Android Studio you will uh, you, you won't have this one okay you will have this this but this is a new one usually I stick with the basic activity um, if you want to start with uh, you know like a navigation here you can use it but a lot of code so for now it's a basic application just basic activity next this is the name of activity and layout name um, you know like Android has um, this this interface this interface is called activity okay like on a C sharp you use form right or wb.net you call it form right and on website you use a page right so here you call activity so activity is a, a noun you know it's not a word it's a noun it means um, something that you can see here like the one form okay and then um, it has to attach to an, a layout so a layout is means like the code behind that uh, represented uh, in the form as XML form you know XML format so layout is a XML code actually and uh, activity is Java code okay and the title is the title of that and you have a menu here the three dot here is the menu okay and you don't uh, care don't, don't need to care about the fragment yet it's a little bit um, you know advanced for you yeah. finish so 
So here you need to give uh, the Android Studio some time to build your app now, and it usually, um, you know, like takes some time. Like sometimes it up to five minutes, it depends on your CPU and RAM. So let's get back when after this uh, finished. Okay, now the building is complete, and your app should look like this. There is some change here. Usually, you, you would see um, like relative layout. Now, there's a new layout called constraint layout. We will talk about that. And now, don't care about it yet. So, let's run your first uh, app. So here, you should click on this and and start. And I suggest you to use Node 2 or Node because it will run faster if you try to run on the let's see s7 or you know like the newest version it will um, run um, very slow and then and eventually your app will be stuck completely and you know like you have to uh, restart your computer or something like that so let's click on run and you will see this now this is the um, you know like a default emulator but usually I use the this device and also if you have a real uh, device real phone for example like Samsung or LG Sony uh, whatever phone you have you can connect to uh, your computer and you can run this app directly to your uh, smartphone it will run faster however you, you need some configuration you need some uh, phone um, you know like a driver and then you have to configure it correctly I suggest you go to uh, YouTube you can find a lot of tutorial about that okay now this is your first app now you can see hello world here if you want to change it you can just change it here the text here just type something like hello Android now it's Android okay run it again okay now you can see hello Android okay that's it for this video the following videos we will talk about the layout the component here the Java the Gradle the manifest the other thing so thank you for watching and I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel give a thumb up to this video thank you and I will see you in the next video